This is the Croc, the combat ready clamp. Battlefield proven and TCCC recommended for junctional hemorrhage control, the Croc has a vice lake compression disc that provides the distinct life saving advantage of creating bi directional pressure exactly where it's needed most, stopping collateral flow and controlling hemorrhage. The Croc is the only device that controls unmanageable bleeding at all five sites where severe junctional hemorrhage occurs. To assemble the Croc, remove the Croc from the carrier pouch. Rotate the vertical arm up from the base plate Lift the horizontal arm locking pin and insert the horizontal arm. Insert the T-handle into the horizontal arm head and rotate clockwise until seated. Attach the pressure disc head to the T-handle. To apply proximal pressure with the croc to the iliac, start by applying manual pressure to the inguinal area to slow the blood flow, and then begin to assemble the croc. Locate the pubic tubercle, and then locate the interior superior iliac spine. Find the midpoint and mark it. Apply the croc to the pressure point by positioning the base plate under the patient beneath the desired pressure point. Ensure the vertical arm is in contact with the patient on the wounded side in close proximity to the wound location. Adjust the horizontal arm to position the pressure disc over the pressure point. Apply pressure by turning the T-handle clockwise. And apply pressure until the bleeding stops. Attach the securing strap and cinch it to the body. Then write the time of application on the label. To apply proximal pressure for bilateral inguinal bleeds, first locate the umbilicus. Apply manual pressure to the inguinal area to slow the blood flow, and then assemble the crop. For bilateral inguinal hemorrhage, or hemorrhage not controlled by distal pressure, as a last resort, 
Pressure may be placed at the bifurcation of the abdominal aorta. Adjust the horizontal arm to position the pressure disc over the pressure point. Apply pressure by turning the T-handle clockwise. Apply pressure until the bleeding stops. If hemostasis is not achieved within 20 full turns of the device, consider releasing and repositioning the pressure disc. Attach the securing strap and cinch it to the body, then write the time of application on the label. Caution. Application of the croc to the umbilicus should only be used as a last resort. To apply proximal pressure for axilla area bleeds, if possible, move the arm on the injured side in an abducted position and then assemble the croc. Press in one of the release tabs to remove the large disc head to reveal the square pressure disc. Position the base plate under the patient beneath the scapula. Ensure the vertical arm is in contact with the patient on the wounded side in close proximity to the wound location. Locate the deltopectoral groove on the injured side. Ensure the pressure disc parallels the clavicle at the proper angle. The pressure disc should not make contact with the clavicle. Apply pressure by turning the T-handle clockwise. Apply pressure until the bleeding stops. If hemostasis is not achieved within 20 full turns of the croc, consider releasing and repositioning the pressure disc. Route the securing strap underneath the uninjured arm and attach the clasp. Write the time of application on the label. To apply the croc to the axilla area over the shoulder, locate the deltopectoral groove on the injured side. Again, press in one of the release tabs to remove the large disc head to reveal the square pressure disc. Position the base plate under the patient beneath the scapula. Ensure the vertical arm is in contact with the patient on the wounded side in close proximity to the wound location. Ensure the pressure disc parallels the clavicle at the proper angle. The pressure disc should not contact the clavicle. Apply pressure by turning the T-handle clockwise. Apply pressure until the bleeding stops. If hemostasis is not achieved within 20 full turns of the device, consider releasing and repositioning the pressure disc. Route the securing strap underneath the uninjured arm and attach the clasp. Write the time of application on the label.
when using a litter, if possible, evacuate the patient on the uninjured side. If it is not possible to roll the patient on their side, elevate the patient slightly with medical gauze on both sides of the croc faceplate in order to keep the croc in proper placement and off the litter frame. Warning, the combat ready clamp or croc is not to be used for wounds to the head, abdomen, or chest. Take proper cautions when administering the croc. The combat ready clamp should only be applied by a trained military medical provider. The pressure disc is not provided sterile and is meant to be used over medical gauze. The combat ready clamp is intended to be left on for up to four hours. This video and additional resources are available at combatmedicalsystems.com.